Hi guys, welcome to our section how to calculate the discounted payback method. In this problem, it says you're considering a project with initial cash outlay or investment of $87,000 and expected cash flows of $26,970 at the end of the years for six years. The discount rate is 9.8%. So today we're going to find the discounted payback method using Excel. Let's do it. All right. So now we're here in Excel. We have our investment, our rate, our cash flows, and our period. In order to figure out the discounted payback method, we need to figure out the present values of each cash flow. So I'm going to do present value. The rate is going to be 98%. The period is going to change. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So I just click here. Payment is going to be 0. And the future value is going to be the cash flow. This will give you the present value of each cash flow. Now, if I drag this down so Excel copies the formulas, I'm going to have an error. So I need to fix that. What's happening? Excel is just basically going down put in two, three, four, five, but it's also changing the rate. Look what's happening. Here we have that the rate was on cell I3. But when I click here, the rate is going to be I4, which that is a mistake. So I need to lock that cell, and I can do it by just putting a dollar sign between the letter I. Now, when I drag it, look at that. Voila. I'm basically fixing the mistake because look, I have I3 here, I3, and so on. Moreover, I want these cash flows to be positive. So I can also click and uh, put ABS parenthesis and then put another parenthesis here. And look at this. I'm going to be having all my values positive. Now let's go ahead and do the discount and payback method. I got an investment of $80,000, and the first year I got this ca uh, cash flow. The second year, this one, and I repeat this process, process over and over until I get a positive value. And voila! We can see that the payback is going to be at year four, but we have a little portion of the year. so. I do equals, then I do it where the negative is divided by the cash flow from the following period. And I get 0 0.06. Now, this is going to be 4.07 when you round off your answer. And that's it. That's how easy it is.